Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we'll just again uh, start from where we left last time. We have introduced the another new type of strain to you while discussing the conformation of cyclic systems, and we have seen that uh, these molecules, especially the small membered rings, they suffer from a strain which is called the angle strain. Now, according to uh, modern day theory. Because if you look at cyclo, again I show the cyclo propane ring, you see the bonds are, I had to struggle to connect these two, two hands, okay. it is so much bent and the, the model is almost coming apart, ruptured at this point. So, the question is whether the molecule really looks like this or not, or there is a, some alternative way of thinking the conformation of cyclopropane. Okay. Now, according to the modern day theory, when you draw the orbitals, say you have the, the sp 3 orbitals of the carbon and this angle is, we know it is 109.5 degrees. Now, if you write another carbon here to make cyclo another see two carbons here to make the cyclopropane. So, what is happening now? This orbital is pointing towards this direction see and this orbital uh, let us just concentrate on these two carbons the connection of this carbon with that carbon. So, what happens? these orbitals are no longer pointing towards each other, pointing towards each other in a head on fashion means in a linear, in a linear fashion which forms the strongest sigma bond. So, in a sigma bond the orbitals should approach in a linear fashion, okay, in a coaxial fashion and so, uh, so that the overlap is maximum when they come close to each other. So, there will be overlap of the orbitals. This is the overlap portion. The extent of overlap will determine the strength of the bond. In case of cyclopropane, what happens as these carbons come closer, the orbitals are no longer approaching in a linear fashion. So, this is one orbital and this carbon, the orbital will be like this. And for this, car, uh, so another carbon is here. So, here also very similar situation, this is pointing towards that direction, this is pointing towards this direction and for this also. So, in no case the orbitals are unlike in a sigma, real sigma bonding situation scenario, the carbon atoms are no longer uh, have the orbitals pointing towards each other in a linear fashion or in a head on fashion. So, if you do that, that means they actually approach in an angular way. In sigma bond, they should approach in a linear fashion. In pi bond, we know that they approach in a lateral fashion. So, this leads to sigma bond and this leads to pi bond. And we know that the pi bonds are less stable than the sigma bond, simply because the extent of overlap is much more here rather than the extent of overlap if they approach laterally and this is a scenario which is in between this. They are not lateral, they are not head on also. So, what happens they actually approach in an angular fashion. So, this is the angular angular fashion that what I am saying. So, the extent of overlap now will be less if the two carbons approach head on then the amount of overlap that you get amongst between the orbitals that will be much more 
here the extent of overlap will be less this is the extent of overlap this is the extent of overlap ok. So, another way to look at this system cyclopropane is to tell that that the bonds see when they join each other when these orbitals combine with each other in f in 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 phase the orbitals are in phase then ultimately the molecular orbital that will be generated they will look like they will look like this. Now, these are what are called so you see the bonds but these are now orbitals these are no longer very mechanical concept of bonds this is the orbital concept. So, they will look like these are called banana bonds or bent bonds ok. You can call it as bent bonds the bonds will be bent or you can say that this looks like a, a banana the overlap ultimately the molecular orbital that is generated that looks like a banana. So, that is called a, a banana bond. and this banana bond will be much weaker than a carbon carbon single bond in a linear alkane because as I said because they do not approach in a linear fashion they approach in an angular fashion and that is why the extent of overlap will be much less. So, this is the this is the molecular orbital concept of instability of cyclopropane. So, what is the answer if somebody asks you according to Bayer strain you say that they suffer from angle strain but the real picture because molecular orbital theory came much later and this is the accepted uh, version of uh, to explain the structure of molecules. So, what happens in the molecular orbital theory according to that the extent of overlap that forms the carbon carbon bond in cyclopropane is much less because the orbitals approach in an angular fashion and that makes the bonds are no longer perfect sigma bonds. So, it is in between a sigma and a pi it is not a pi because they are not approaching in a lateral fashion it is not a perfect sigma it is a sigma bond but it will be much weaker than a sigma than normal sigma bond. And how do you know it is weaker because you can do uh, many reactions on cyclopropane which is looking like as if it is possessing a double bond like in ethylene if you add HBr we know that it the bromine adds Cr and H adds Cr. Whereas, in ether nothing happens if you add HBr it does not break that one side bromine goes another side hydrogen goes because this is a very strong bond you cannot break this bond ok. But this happens with cyclo uh, with, with ethylene because the pi bond is very weak similar things happen with cyclopropane. So, if you take cyclopropane and add HBr. So, as if one this bond is like a pi bond is a weak bond. So, on one side bromine is added and the other side hydrogen is added. The difference between this and that that this is a 1 2 addition and that is a 1 3 addition ok. But the similarity is there that this bond is weak and you can break and there will be a 1 3 addition it is a addition reaction ok. Similarly, if you add hydrogen in presence of a catalyst then you will get the normal propane. If you add bromine you will get 1 3 dibromo propane ok. So, that shows that these bonds are weaker ok. Now, there is um, so that is the how it is described this banana bond. Now, there is another concept that also that um, that came up little later once the banana bond was uh, uh, that theory uh, was put forward then people started looking at this molecule again and people calculated you can calculate that what will be the strength of these bonds if they are perfect these perfect banana bonds and if the carbon is is sp3 hybridized then what will be the extent of uh, overlap you can calculate that. So, this bond strength can be calculated. Okay. And the, during the calculation what they found that cyclopropane bonds as per calculation the whatever be the strength means as per the overlap 
if you uh, if you whatever the strength comes out actually the strength of the carbon carbon bond is slightly higher than that means as per calculation quantum mechanical this calculations this orbital overlap you can calculate so as per calculation you get a bond strength suppose x kilocalorie suppose per mole and actually you can also by combustion experiments you can you can or by hydrogenation you can tell what is the strength of this carbon carbon bond and suppose this is y kilocalorie per mole. So, what they found that actually y is little larger than x. So, where was the problem because this should match then there is something problem with this calculation, uh, but quantum mechanics is based on a sound footing. So, that uh, you cannot challenge it is very difficult to challenge that concept. So, something extra must be happening to this molecule. So, that the carbon carbon bond is slightly more stable than what is expected out of calculation from molecular orbital theory. So, the then it was revised a little bit this is this is the modern day concept of cyclopropane that you know that if a carbon is sp 3 hybridized then the bond angle becomes 109 degree 109.5 degrees if it is sp2 hybridized then it is 120 degree the bond angle and if it is sp hybridized the angle becomes 180 degree so what does it tell that the as the percentage of so the percentage of p character is highest here okay so the percentage of p character as it p character percentage of p character in the hybrid orbital in the hybrid orbital. So, if the percentage of p character goes down, so p character is increasing on this side. So, this is 50 percent p character 50 percent s character here it is one third that means, this is 33 point this is a uh, sp2 so s has 33.33 so this is about 67 percent p character i am talking about p character and this is 75 percent p character so as the p character increases the bond angle decreases okay as the p character increases the bond angle decreases so with this presumption now the modern day theory is that this carbon is no longer perfectly sp3 hybridized see what was the concept of hybridization the concept of hybridization was that you take orbitals and orbitals of different energies some may be same energy but at least one has to be different like sp3 3 p orbitals of same energy and 1 s of different energy you mix them and you generate because 4 orbitals are combining you generate 4 new orbitals which are called hybrid orbitals and the extent of these hybrid orbitals have all of identical energy okay identical energy that is the important thing and uh, that means they are degenerate so you you generate a set of degenerate orbitals and the percentage of the character the s character in all the four orbitals like this is one orbital hybrid orbital this is another hybrid orbital so there will be here there will be hybrid orbital there will be hybrid orbital so this is the sp3 situation okay and the percentage of s character or p character will be same in all these four orbitals so that was the concept earlier now in case of cyclopropane once they found that actually this bond is little bit more stable than what is coming out of calculation. So, they revised this hybridization concept a little bit. So, what people are saying that the percentage of we know that as the percentage of p character goes up the angle decreases. Okay. So, if the percentage of p character uh, goes above 75 percent above 75 percent 
then the angle will further decrease and if the angle further decreases then according to Bayer strain theory see there is angle strain here the normal angle should be 109 degree 109.5 degree but if you think it is as a rigid system it is 60 degree okay and in terms of molecular orbital theory this is there is less overlap if they approach this uh, as per the hybridization concept okay now if you increase the percentage of p character here in this orbital and percentage of p character in this orbital then what will happen this angle what you are seeing here that angle will further will decrease because you are increasing the percentage of p character in these orbitals. You can also see it you can also uh, explain it in here if this bond the normal valence angle is 109.5 keeping the p character as 75 percent, but if the p character say goes up to 90 percent then what happens this angle will no longer be 109.5. So, the angle suppose the angle what is required in a hybridization say sp5 hybridization. Now, we have never heard of sp5, but sp5 if it is sp5 hybridization then the angle will be less than 109.5. I do not know what will be the angle suppose this is 100 degree then the effect of that the overall angle strain which was earlier 49.5 divided by 2 that means 24.75 that will be less now because now you have to have 100 minus 60 divided by 2. So, that becomes 20. So, the angle strain decreases. So, now this carbon this carbon is intelligent once it sees that there is a problem if I have a perfect equality amongst the hybrid orbitals. So, it will what it will do it will put more p character in the bonds which are making the cyclic system and but you have to compensate that if you put more p character here. So, you will have to have a le less p character on the outer bonds which are outside the ring which are not making the, the ring bonds. So, the bonds which are not making the ring bonds you make more s character or less p character here and here you introduce more p character and now the the rough calculation people have calculated that what is the extent of hybridization on this side and what is the extent of hybridization on this side. They found that the this can be explained this inequality of bond strength uh, can be explained. If you think that this carbon is sp5 hybrid hybridization on this side and uh, the rest is outside that means the rest uh, the outside bonds again I repeat they have less p character this has more p character and the p character is about what is re required what is present in sp5. So, that will be about what 5 by 6 into 100 percent. So, the percentage of p character in the inside bonds will be 5 by 6 into 100. So, that comes around 500 by 6 that means 8 so around 83 percent so around 83 percent p character in the inside bonds okay that explains so many things because if you increase the p character the the difference the, the bond becomes little bit stronger because now this they approach in a more linear fashion is not linear exactly, but earlier the extent of overlap uh, what was there as per sp3 hybridization now the extent of overlap will be more. So, this bond becomes stronger now it matches with the whatever is the uh, experimental value. It also matches with the reactivity of cyclopropane because as the p character increases the bond becomes weak because the s electrons are closer to the nucleus. So, greater the S character the bond becomes stronger. So, this bonds become weaker and these bonds in turn should become stronger. That means, in cyclopropane 
the C H bonds become stronger compared with a compared with a linear system and the C C bonds become weaker because this has got more P character and this has got more S character as present in the in a linear system. So, this has got more S character. So, today you have learned that hybridization does not always follow democratic rules that everything has to be equal. Okay. So, there is inequality in hybridization also, especially when it is required. Okay. So, that is well explained in case of cyclopropane. And the question is what is the proof? Is there any real experimental proof that yes, there is the outside bonds in a cyclic system? like cyclopropane is stronger is stronger. So, people have done this. So, they made this is what is called cyclopropanone. So, they put a ketone here. Okay. Now, this molecule will suffer from more angle strain because this is now sp 2. So, this is 120 degree as per as per normal hybridization, but actually this is this is required as per hybridization, but actually the angle is 60 degree because this is this is a three membered ring. Okay. So, it will suffer from more angle strain. So, again what will happen the percentage of p character here in these two bonds will be increased. So, that the angle strain is minimized or the other way the bond strength is more. So, that the overlap is more when the orbitals approach each other when the orbitals approach each other. So, the there will be more p character here. So, there will be more s character on these bonds. So, this carbonyl should be stronger than if you take a cyclobutanone or forget about cyclic system this carbonyl should be stronger than acetone. Because in acetone there is no such strain, there is no such problem. The angle is perfectly maintained. So this will have this will have more S character, S character, and this will have less S character. So which carbonyl is then stronger? Because as I say, the S electrons are closer. So this carbonyl is stronger than this carbonyl. That you can measure. There are spectroscopic ways. Uh, to measure that what is the energy required to stretch this carbonyl bond. That if you want to stretch the carbonyl bond, you require more energy for this than that. And this is what is measured in what is spectroscopy called IR spectroscopy. And people have shown that the IR spectroscopy uh, gives the stretching frequency that is required. That means, the energy the frequency corresponding to the energy which is required to stretch this bond versus to stretch this bond. And it was now perfect, it is established that this requires more energy to stretch than this one. And so, also if you come to cyclobutane, so it will be easier to stretch compared to cyclopropanone. Cyclobutanone carbonyl is will be easier to stretch than in case of cyclopropanone. Okay. So, that is the modern day. First, I said that there is this existence of what is called a banana bond that the orbitals are approaching in an angular fashion. So, that creates what is called banana bond and then I said that to further aid the strength of the bond to further reduce the strain that is present in cyclopropane or to try to strengthen the carbon carbon bond there is unequal hybridization. So, what the people said that there is there is um, the hybridization the unequal it, the hybridization are not equal in all the hybrid orbitals. So, some orbitals have more s character and some orbitals have more p character. It is the inward bonds that means, the bonds which make the ring those bonds will have more p character because more k p character means less angle and less angle means less angle strain. Okay. And I can show you here 
I think there will be some pictures here for. So, I started with this that cyclic comp that we have known what is called torsional strain, what is called steric strain, those are introduced while discussing the acyclic systems. Now, what we have is what is called angle strain that is what also known as Byers angle strain. And if I completely uh, show the slide, this is what is the slide that in case of cyclopropane, I should have also mentioned this that there is angle strain that is true and there is another strain that is the what I said the bond opposition strain because these two bonds, these two bonds the side wise they are eclipsing each other. So, there is what is called eclipsing strain or you can call bond opposition strain. So, they are their dihedral angle is 0. Okay. So, there will be that bond opposition strain that is present here, but the major contributing factor for instability is not this bond opposition strain. This is present definitely, but the major contributor is the is the less overlap according to molecular orbital theory less overlap while forming the carbon carbon bonds. Okay. And here the picture it says that it suffers from torsional strain, torsional strain is the one that when you lie in energy maxima you, you will try to go to the a minimum point uh, close by. Okay. So, it suffers from this torsional strain. Okay. Torsional strain is absent in case of uh, staggered form, but this is in the Eclipse form. So, this will su suffer from torsional strain and this will suffer from another strain that is what is the angle strain or bias strain. And this whatever I said these are all explained here that actually the hybridization generally is, is democratic that means the percentage contribution of each orbitals uh, each um, orbitals in the hybrid orbital is usually same, but that does not happen in cyclopropane. Before that people said that there is this type of bond I told you about the banana bond this comes because they approach in a angular fashion this is the sigma bond perfect sigma bond when they approach in a coaxial fashion. This is the bond which is in between a pi and a sigma okay. and uh, so poor overlap and that is why this is a weak bond. And the next uh, what was suggested is that in order to strengthen the bond a little bit more or in order to reduce the angle strain, uh, reduce the angle strain. So, the hybridization the internal orbitals that means the orbitals which make the carbon carbon bonds the hybridization I already told you it is about S p 5. So, it has got 83 percent p character and 17 percent s character. Okay. So, that is the modern day concept of cyclopropane. Next we come to cyclobutane. Now, in case of cyclobutane, Bayer's, Bayer considered it as a flat molecule okay. and flat molecule and then the angle strain was calculated. I already in the uh, earlier lecture I told you about how much how to calculate the angle strain. It is 109.5 minus 90 divided by 2. However, later on it was uh, observed like I was telling that these molecules if you make it flat they will suffer from not only from angle strain, but they will suffer from what is called the torsional strain or the eclipsing strain this is the same thing eclipsing strain some people call it Pitzer strain because it is the scientist Pitzer who first described introduced this concept of strain. So, this strain is called when the bonds are eclipsed they suffer from a strain and uh, that is called Pitzer strain that is also called eclipsing strain and uh, today we generally call it torsional strain. So, they suffer from when you make a flat system the adjacent bonds will be eclipsing each other. So, it will suffer from the torsional strain. So, apart from angle strain that is present it will suffer from torsional strain. The interesting point is even if we reduce it to 0 the angle strain like cyclopentane it is almost 0 because it is 108 degree now regular pentagon and but you still suffer from this torsional strain because 
these are eclipsed into each other. Okay. So, the question is whether it will now remain in this form or not, because it is suffering from torsional strain and it is suffering from angle strain. Now, the torsional strain you can reduce little bit if you make it not flat, if you make it little bit puckered, puckered means non planar, then what will happen? See, if I try to move this carbon now a little bit and this carbon, you see that the torsional strain, the bonds are no longer e eclipsing each other. So, there will be slight dihedral angle, it is not gauche yet, but the torsional strain will decrease as you move these two carbons upwards. But what happens if you move these carbons upward, the angle these two, ang these two angles now become less than 90 and if it becomes less than 90, so it is it the what increases is the angle strain. So, now you have a trade off. So, if you rotate it a little bit, if you make it a little bit non planar, then it will reduce the torsional strain, but on the other hand it will increase the angle strain. So, the question is which one it prefers. Okay? So, that will be in the next lecture.